Ed, we're speaking with John Stierenberg. John, can you tell us a little bit about your involvement with Plaza and also the uh, Plaza's objectives with these smaller shows? Sure, thanks, Bob. Uh, we've been uh, friends and fans of the Plaza organization for many years, both here in the States and uh, over in the UK. And, and what they've done with um, the Plaza Focus events, this one in Nashville being the second one, uh, is create a, a, a series of two-day conferences. They're not trade shows, even though there's a small exhibit hall, uh, but there's uh, professional development seminars, networking opportunities, uh, opportunities for uh, people from both inside the industry and outside the industry to understand entertainment technology much, mm -hmm. much better. And uh, Plaza is beginning to uh, define entertainment technology much broader, much more broadly than they might have in the past. In the past, it was focused mostly on lighting, rigging, staging, and the kind of uh, 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 entertainment technology gear that you'd find in uh, uh, themed attractions, uh, Broadway shows, that sort of thing. Also concert tours and, and, and any live event production. But with the merger a few years ago of ESTA, the Entertainment Services and Technology Association, and Plaza, the Professional Lighting and Sound Association, that definition of entertainment technology is broadening quite a bit because as we all know the S stands for sound. So we'll see here in Nashville a uh, heavy emphasis on, on lighting, staging, and rigging. Several audio vendors, several audio related um, uh, seminars and, and professional development opportunities. In the future, as Plaza rolls out the Plaza Focus event uh, to other cities, I think we'll see uh, uh, a growth in, in uh, the, the Educational offerings as well as growth of the events themselves. So, there's a few thoughts on Plaza Focus.